Hello, AP Scholars. We are looking today at the Scores Special Coding Back question. So the deal with this question is that the Scores Special method is sent to arrays of ints, an A and a B, and your job is to find the largest multiple of 10 in each array, add them together, and return the sum. So as an example, in this array, there's only one multiple of 10, so obviously that's the one we're going to choose. And in this array, there's more than one multiple of 20, uh, sorry, multiple of 10, and the larger is 30. So we're going to choose 30 from this array. 10 plus 30 gives us 40, and that's why we're supposed to return 40. So in another example, oh, don't want to <laughs> give the answer away just yet. Uh, we have, you know, in this example here, there's no multiples of 10, so the um, special score from here is 0. And over here, the largest multiple of 10 is the only multiple of 10, which is 20. So the result is from A, we take 0, and from B, we take 20, and we add it together to give us 20. So that's what this question is supposed to do. If that was what was giving you trouble, hopefully that explanation was clear and it helps you move forward. Feel free to pause the video and go for it. I am going to now show you the answer in case you're still confused. So here is my answer. Oh, actually, I should just mention that they want you to write a helper method after your score special method so that you're supposed to practice, uh, you know, decomposition, which is the idea of breaking down a problem into smaller, easier to solve problems. So what's easier than finding the sum of the two largest ar value set multiples of 10 in two arrays, well, just finding the largest in one. So that's what I do here. So you can see my actual method is just one line. I have this highest method that I wrote that is going to return the largest multiple of 10 in a single array, which is a simpler problem than returning the sum of the largest uh, multiples of 10 in two arrays. So that's why is there and highest will work for um, you know more than one array. I can send it A, I can send it B, I can send it whatever array I want really. So here's what highest looks like, and you know you can just declare it right after the brace of your um, score special method. So here's what I have here. Uh, it must return a number because how else is it going to communicate what its uh, findings were? And it takes in a single uh, array. Notice that I named it A, but I can send it A or B. It doesn't really matter. Uh, it just gets named A here because this has a different scope. It doesn't conflict with this A or, or this B or anything like that. And what I mean by scope is it's defined inside of this method, so it's not you know going to mess up any definitions or conflict with any definitions in other methods. Ooh, sorry, I just <laughs> knocked over my broke my thing. <laughs> uh, I'll just leave that. <laughs> Whatever. <laughs> you guys are used to having trouble in my uh, in my lessons anyway, so it's all good. Uh, okay, so here's how I find the largest multiple of 10. I, first of all, uh, set highest to 0. This is just a variable uh, that I'm using to keep track of the highest number I've found so far. And if this loop doesn't find any multiples of 10, then I'm just going to be returning 0. Uh, also, this loop won't do anything if the length is 0, so I'll still return 0 even if it's an empty array, if it's a, a, a 0 length array. So this method is pretty robust for handling all those error cases. So now here's my for loop. I just start at the beginning and I go till the end, I'm going up by 1, and each time I check to see if the uh, this and this is I think what's the trickiest part. I check to see if the number in the array at index i is divisible by ten. So I divide by ten with modulus and check the remainder is zero. And I also want to make sure that it's bigger than the previous highest number I've found. And you'll notice that in some questions you had to initialize these things with uh, a number that's in the array, but it's okay because the scores are non-negative. And because they're non-negative, I can assume 0 is going to be the smallest possible number that I can return. So that's the story. 
So, you know, if I find a highest number, then I will record it in the highest variable. And and that would be great. So I only does it have to be a multiple of 10. It also has to be bigger than previous numbers we found in our x in our traversing of this array. And then I can return it. And in the end, I guess I just add the two together and return it, and it works out nicely. Now, uh, I think that's that's all I wanted to say about this question. So have yourself a nice day. Bye.